Hey guys, it's Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. Uh, winter's on us here, it's gotten colder. Uh, it always creates training problems for all of us. So, what I decided to do this year was invest in a good jacket with an inner and outer zipper layer that I could take in and out, and what, which would also work as a rain jacket, which has a hood in it, and I could work with on the range and has a bunch of cool pockets and zippers and stuff because uh, I can't carry a bunch of gear with me when I'm on the road. And sometimes I go from a warm climate to a cold climate. Sometimes it's raining. Uh, hell, we got stuck in the hurricane and dropped 30 inches on us. So I decided to invest in something. I bought the 511 Bristol Parka. Uh, it suited a lot of my needs. Got a great discount coupon from a friend of mine. So I thought I'd invest in a good jacket. What's really different about this is this is like a duty jacket. So it unzips on the side so that your duty holster could stick out. And that way it wouldn't be a problem uh, you could get to it if you needed to. And this also allows you to get your pockets and your jacket in and out. Everything can be zipped together so that it, it stays connected with each other. Uh, that way I can practice on the range. This gives me a great bit of practice on the range so that when I go to move the whole jacket, it comes with me. Because one of the big problems we have on the range is that the jacket gets in the way as it gets colder. Uh, it's going to affect your draw no matter what you do. So we got to have something that allows us to get in and out of the holster efficiently. Now, I know a lot of you don't want to wear a tactical jacket on the street. I get that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about how do we practice on the range? What's best in our practices for us? This has got a cool little place where we can zipper it together and then we can stick our Velcro through there and that gives us a good chance to be able to practice with it. Uh, let me get it set up real quick here. All right, so now it's just kind of all connected together. All right, we're in good shape here. So the good thing about this is I can move the whole jacket and be able to get to an appendix holster. Uh, you know, strong side holsters in some ways are a bit easier. You can just unzip your jacket and go to it, but it creates a bit of a problem. Now we gotta make sure there's no nothing hanging off this that can get into the holster. So I've made sure it's pretty clean underneath and it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna do a couple draws from here. I, it's not about the shooting today, but there's a target down there at 25 yards. And I'm just gonna draw from concealment so you can see. Try the hands down position first. And I can see it right back in the holster. It sets up pretty well. We'll try it from the hands up position. So it's not really affecting me. It's in a good position. We'll try it from the hands at the side position. Now it's not quite as fast as me in a t-shirt, but nothing is in this position. Try it with my hands behind my back, okay? So the big thing I have to be careful of is when do I release the cover garment? So when I get to here, I've gotta be careful as I come in to make sure not to foul my draw, but having these flaps on the side allows me to stay warm and be able to, to uh, draw from concealment and at least honor the gist of concealment in a class without sacrificing safety. I think it's kind of cool. I like it, all right? I find it pretty useful. It's got a lot of other little techie things and hoods and stuff like that. But primarily, this is something I can practice and demonstrate in class, and I've shown it to several people, and like that's a pretty cool idea. That's my second gear review, so I guess measure, refine, and perform with your gear too, and make sure you can continue practicing. Don't let winter hold you back. Don't let your gear hold you back, and don't let it be unsafe. I was in a class last year, and it was an indoor class, but it was so cold in there, we had to throw a bunch of stuff on just to try to stay warm, and it fouled my draw a couple times, so it got me thinking about, can I come up with something better to do it? So this is the 511 Bristol Parka. I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant, and as always, measure, refine, and perform.